card number nine. Card number nine. Suppressed evidence. Number nine. The Zapruder film. The Zapruder film. Let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can see details. And that's the motorcade. There's Jackie holding Kennedy, blood splattered all over the, look at that. Suppressed evidence. I wonder where the original pieces here are, my God. The Zapruder film. One of the Warren Commission's proof of a re, re, war, reward, re, rear ward attack was a film of the assassination taken by amateur photographer Abraham Zapruder and immediately brought by, bought by Life magazine publisher C.D. Jackson. The film was suppressed but select, selected frames were given to the Warren Commission and printed in life in 1964. In March 1975, when the Zapruder film was first shown on national television, it became clear that the previously printed frames had been flip-flopped and in actuality, in actuality, Kennedy was thrown violently backwards, his head exploding in a re rearward spray of brain matter. This visible evidence of a frontal attack undid the work of the Warren Commission. In 1975 to 76, several witnesses testifying to the Senate Intelligence Committee about the Kennedy murder died. Let's read that again. In 1975 to 76, several witnesses testifying to the Senate Intelligence Committee about the Kennedy murder died, prompting the 1976 creation of the House Secret Committee on Assassinations, HSCA. In a caustical study, in a caustical study of a police radio recording of the president's assassination led to the HSCA to conclude in 1979 then there had been at least four shots and that a second gunman had fired from the grassy knoll. The Select Committee on Assassination, HC, HSCA Chief Counsel G. Robert Blakey postulated the Mafia was behind the conspiracy and developed circumstance, circumstantial evidence that elements of organized crime played a role, concentrating on Jack Ruby's ties to gangsters. He underplayed Oswald's link to the U.S. intelligence agencies, never examined Oswald's volumi, vol, voluminous CIA 201 file, demanded that, uh, de demanded that all HSCA staff members and their private researchers signed secret secrecy oath allowed the CIA and FBI to conduct sec, uh, security checks on them and defend his actions by asking quote I've worked with the CIA for 20 years why for 20 years would they lie to me he asked take that statement to consideration where recently uh, head of the CIA came out and said the CIA's job is to deceive is to lie the CIA's job is to make sure that when all is said and done no one believes anything they hear 